elevating your sketchbook presentation. Get some ideas. Pinterest is an amazing creative platform to help give you inspiration. Not only can you find inspiration from well-known historical and contemporary artists, you can also draw inspiration from fellow learners such as yourselves. It is highly recommended that you set up an account and start pinning posts. Work across a double page. Ignore the binding through the middle and use the entire space. This can make a real impact to the viewer looking at your work. Keep backgrounds relevant. Prepare your background and arrange all of your information and studies before committing to sticking them down. On artist research pages, keep your presentation relevant to the colours and the style of the artist. This helps to show a good understanding. This learner has clearly understood the style of the artist and has used collaged papers in the same colours as that of the artist to decorate her page background before mounting annotations and studies and placing them over the top. Fill all of the space. Leave no empty space. Add images, annotations, studies and make your book eye-catching, visually exciting and interesting. Make it creative. Yes, your book should be neatly presented, but it should also be creative. Think about how you can present your ideas in a creative way to make the viewer want to pick it up and take a good look. There are no rules with orientation. You can stick to landscape orientation throughout your sketchbook. You can stick to portrait or you can mix things up and move work around. The viewer will know whether to turn the book round or not. Add flaps, tabs and pullouts. Flaps, tabs and pullouts not only add to the creativity of your book, but they also make it interactive and interesting. Use the ring binding to tie in additional work for the page so you aren't restricted for space. Use a hole punch and string to include more elements to your page. Keep text consistent. The consistency of using the same font throughout your book or the same style of writing will help to make your book's development flow and keep a definite style throughout. Working on separate paper versus directly in your book. Don't feel you need to work directly in your book. Use your book for backgrounds and create studies and annotations on separate paper. Use layers to build interesting and creative compositions. Of course, there may be occasions where working directly on the pages in your book would work well, so trust your instincts. Experimental studies work well as decorative backgrounds. Keep all scraps. Use work which hasn't quite made the cut to cut and tear up and use as relevant backgrounds for your pages. This learner had created many Pollock style splatter paintings. She used many of her pieces to decorate the background of her relevant pages. Cut or tear. Choose to cut or tear or cut and tear. Cutting and tearing together make interesting textural contrasts. I hope you'll find my suggestions for elevating the presentation of your sketchbook useful. Remember, you can always use platforms such as Pinterest for ideas on presentation. I look forward to seeing your sketchbooks. Thank you. Thank you.